So, I mean, I think that there's, this is something new that we're starting to think through as as different districts are institutionalizing ethnic studies across the state. And so, um, you know, in San Francisco Unified, we saw that there was a pilot study of different high schools um, and that they had, they worked with somebody out like Allison Diago Cubales, who works with, uh, who teaches ethnic studies in San Francisco State, and she's partnered, she partnered with them and was doing a pilot study training social studies teachers or ethnic studies teachers to be able to um, develop the types of ideologies they need to actually teach it. Um, I know at UCLA they have a program where they're piloting a cohort of ethnic studies teachers in within the credential program. Um, I think that we have to do a better job of actually recruiting teachers from ethnic studies majors into teacher preparation so that they can actually um, come with that content and, and the duration of what teacher preparation is today we don't have the space or time to really develop the true consciousness or critical analysis that it would take to be able to teach ethnic studies. And so if teachers aren't coming with that into those spaces, it's much harder to actually get them to be prepared to effectively do that. Um, I think the other thing that's starting to emerge that we see happening all over the country are these kind of critical professional development spaces that are happening for teachers. And so whether that's people's education in Los Angeles or Teachers for Social Justice and NICOR. Um, uh, I am one of the co-directors for the Institute for Teachers of Color Committed to Racial Justice that we hold annually each summer. Um, there are these alternative spaces where teachers are coming to get this kind of critical development that they aren't getting in both their credential programs or their um, school-based PD. And so what we you know, at least in the Institute for Students of Color, which we call ITOC, um, we are actively taking a racial analysis around schooling, and we're helping teachers develop the language um, and tools to understand school racial climate, to be able to critique it, to develop curriculum and um, from experts who are engaging in these things in deep intersectional ways. Um, and so thinking about race and racism as it intersects with um, gender oppression, citizenship status, language issues, so really helping, offering spaces where um, teachers can engage deeply on these ideologies that they, they aren't getting anywhere else in their professional spaces.